Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create this number pattern using Python. So there you can see in this number pattern, the number is incremented after each unit of this pattern. There you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and to 36. You can create the pattern of any length, the length of you want. This is just an example. Okay. So in the previous video, we have created a pattern which looks somewhat like this. Okay, so this looks very similar to our today's video uh, pattern, but it only has some differences like the numbers in this pattern are repeated. Okay, so there you can see in each line, the numbers are incremented. But in this, after each unit of this pattern, the number are incremented okay so i'll show you that how you can do this okay so if you want to create this pattern the link will be provided in the i button as well as in the description if you want to create this one then stick to this video and let's jump to our editor okay so now we are into our editor so our first task is to create a variable which will hold the number of steps that we go that we want to create okay so if i write five here then uh, just a second not this one this one five steps will be created one two three four five six seven i guess this one was for number eight but if you want to create five steps then write five here okay so now let's create another variable num and let's write it one here okay so i'm gonna show you that how we are going to use this num variable but for now just write this variable num is equal to one okay so now let's create our first for loop for i in range now if you are new to for loop and how this uh, string and integer data type works then the link of all the basics videos like how the range function works how the for loop works how the print function works all the videos will be provided in the playlist link below okay so if you want to boost your skills after this video you can watch that video okay so for i in range 0 to 9 uh, n sorry because we want to go through this range only from 0 to 5 okay then we'll create another for loop first let me write then i'll explain you that what these for loops are doing because i'm gonna iterate you through all the values i'm gonna show you the list that this range function will create and also how this for loop will iterate through all those values. okay so this is gonna be a very detailed video so don't worry because i'm not gonna skip any step here okay so this is gonna go from zero to i plus one uh, sorry it should be i plus 1 okay so we are writing i plus 1 here because the python indexing starts from 0 and if the i select 0 value then nothing will print it and we don't want that this is why we are writing 1 here just stay for a bit i'll explain you after each iteration okay then we'll print our values which is our number variable actually this is not a string it should be a number variable and then the after each end of the um, unit we want to add some space because there you can see in our uh, pattern or this one let me close this one this is very confusing there you can see after each unit we are having some space okay so if we remove this space then there won't be any space and it will look a bit congested okay so this is why we are adding some space here so after each iteration the num value will be included uh, the num value will be incremented by one okay so let me explain you this just one line is left which is to uh, print a new line after each uh, line has been printed there you can see uh, if we exclude this line then all the numbers will be printed in a single line so let me first uh, 
comment this out and explain you this part of this program then we'll come off to this part okay so for i in range 0 to n okay so a range function creates a list in which the starting value is 0 okay and the last value or the ending value is n we we also have a third parameter in range but we haven't provided any third parameter so this will be default which is 1 so a list will be created of 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 uh, 8 only because as we know python indexing starts from 0 the starting value is included and the ending value which is uh, sorry it's not 9 it's 5 here so till 4 and 5 will be excluded okay so this is the list that this range function will provide so let me comment this out so that it isn't executed with our code okay so after this list is created this is provided to this for loop now this for loop will iterate through this list so in first iteration the value in i will be 0 okay so for j in range okay from 0 to we can't write 0 here otherwise nothing will be printed this is why we are writing 0 plus 1 which is just 1 so in the first iteration only 1 will be printed uh, sorry only 0 will be printed so this for loop will run only once because this is having only one value this number of iteration will only be one okay so num will be printed which is having the value one so one will be printed there you can see in the first line the one is printed and after that the number is incremented by one so now the value of num becomes 2 okay so then we'll go back again to this uh, i for loop now 0 is gone so the value for i becomes 1 okay so for j in range 0 to 1 plus 1 which is 2 so this will have the value uh, 0 comma 1 okay so two values will, will be printed first is the number which is 2 so 2 is printed first then num is incremented by 2 and it becomes 3 then again this for j in range loop is executed because there are two values present in this list this for loop is iterating through two values okay then the number value is 3 here this is why this 3 number is printed okay then again the number is increased this becomes 2 and same will happen for all of this line okay so let's run this code and see whether the number are incremented after each for loop or not okay so let's run this and there you can see we are getting uh, not the perfect output because this should be 1 uh, okay this should be 1 and now let's run this and now there you can see that the numbers are incremented in the ascending order okay so now let's see how we can add the lines after each for loop there you can see there is a difference between this and this pattern because this is not at all pattern this is a pattern this is a pyramid pattern because after each of this for loop right after each line or after this for j in range for loop we want to print a line and this is why we'll include this print space here okay so let's save this and run this and there you can see this is it this is what i have promised in this video if we increase the number to 8 you will get the exact pattern that i have shown you at the starting of the video okay so this is it this was a short video in which i have explained you step by step that how this for loop is getting the value to create this pattern now these short programs are very important because these short programs 
improve your skills improve your skills on for loop improve your skills on conditionals improve your skills on variety of programming language which will help you in some bigger projects okay so this is it and i'll meet you in my next lecture where i'll explain you something else okay so meet you there bye bye